so to, we'll review how advances in AI and cloud computing are leading to a skills first approach. Then we'll explore how new project based credentials, such as the applied skills credentials, and how it can benefit your organization. We'll also review how complementary the credentials of Microsoft certifications and applied skills are to help ensure you're building resilient and adaptable teams, individuals that are skilled and ready to take on your critical projects. So let's start with skills first. So what does this mean and why are we talking about it? The World Economic Forum refers to skills first as an accelerated shift towards a skills-based operating model for talent. Simply put, if you're focusing on finding and nurturing the right talent in your organizations, a skill-centric mentality is increased is becoming increasingly important. Advances in AI, cloud computing, and emerging technologies have made it more important than ever for employees and candidates to demonstrate proficiency in the most sought-after technical skills. As a result, organizations are quickly adapting to a skills-based approach as they search for the right people with the right skills at the right time. To illustrate this point, let's explore a few examples of what's happening in many organizations. Some of these might resonate with your own situation. The first scenario is about identifying and retaining the right talent for your organization so that you can deliver on your critical technology projects that enable your business outcomes. This can be anything from infrastructure or data, modernization to security or business resiliency, whether you want to maximize the skill sets of your own team members or to recruit talent outside of your organization, you need the ability to pinpoint the people with the specific skills required for these projects. The second scenario is about bootstringing team productivity and accelerating project delivery. With technology changing at such a rapid pace, you need your team to be able to quickly acquire and prove Targeted skills, for example, a project manager leading a project for DevOps security might be looking to find talent that's skilled in pipeline security, designing architecture with layered security, and monitoring to help prevent those cyber attacks. These are very specific skills, and the ability to f and the inability to find them when they need when you need them the most could delay your projects or even make them more expensive. The third scenario is about retention and about the professional growth of your team members and individuals. You may have employees who want to advance in their own career or to join projects that involve emerging technologies like artificial intelligence. How do you empower them to quickly up skills and demonstrate that they have the needed skills? Maybe they don't have all the experience and seniority required to earn a Microsoft certification, but they still want to demonstrate their skills so that they can contribute to your upcoming projects. We frequently see these scenarios and situations with customers and partners, and that's why Microsoft Applied Skills exists. It's a verified credential that validates the specific skills needed to implement scenario-based projects which are critical to your own business goals. So let's review what we mean by that. By talking about validating a targeted set of skills that are needed to deliver specific projects, applied skill credentials have a delimited scope. For example, develop an ASB.NET core web app that consumes an API, or build a solution with Azure AI services. Azure developers can now prove that they have those specific skills. Applied skills credentials are based on interactive lab experiences. Team members prove by doing. To earn a credential, individuals must pass a lab-based exam as well as assessment in which they can complete the tasks related to specific projects. For example, an Azure developer pursuing a build a solution with Azure AI services credential earns it by completing tasks related to that project, like unlocking insights from image and video content using Azure AI Vision. These on-demand assessments are available on Microsoft Learn and the individual works with the technology and like the individual works with actual technology in these real world scenarios. So in some examples, Azure developer uses the Azure portal 
and assesses the re related Azure AI services to complete the tasks required in that scenario specific to that assessment. Microsoft Applied Skills and Credentials are verified by Microsoft, and this is huge. So Microsoft are offering a streamlined path to validate someone's skills. Whether you're looking for talent inside your own organization or you're hiring new talent, when you see a credential that's verified by Microsoft, you know that the individual proven that has proven that they have the skills to accomplish the task at hand. The process to earn an applied skills credential is straightforward and flexible. Individuals prepare with optimal training, including self-paced learning paths available through Microsoft Learn, instructor-led training. They earn a credential by passing the online interactive lab-based assessment that takes them through a series of scenario-based tasks in products like Microsoft Azure or Power Platform. The lab-based assessment is available on Microsoft Learn. Then they can celebrate and share their new credentials and skills on social media after they pass their assessment, giving them the opportunity to showcase their new skills to their professional network and you as a potential employer. So let's take a look at some of the plethora of applied skills. More and more are getting added all the time. But you can see there's applied skills ranging from the infrastructure layer, where you might be configuring your workloads with Azure-based network security, to the security layer, to mo even modern work with build and collaborate with Microsoft Teams. M more and more applied skills are being added all the time. They're very task orientated. It's a lab-based assessment, very easy to do. If you fail the first time, you can resubmit a new attempt. I think it's 24 hours after your first attempt until you get it right. But as you can see, depending on what you want from a business empowerment perspective, the technology you're wanting to play with, there's a plethora of applied skills tasks that you, you and your employees can get hands on, learn and verify those skills. So you might be wondering what's happening with Microsoft certifications now that we also have applied skills. Certifications are here to stay. For more than 30 years, the IT industry has recognized that certifications have provided proof of world-class technical proficiency for in-demand job roles. And they'll continue to help ensure that your team members have the breadth of skills needed for the critical roles in your cloud and AI transformation. As in today's ever-changing business environment, when you need verified, specific, project-specific skills, applied skills credentials will be at your disposal. So a quick comparison between applied skills and certifications. Certifications validate broad technical proficiency in a job, like Azure Developer and Applied Skills validate proficiency in a technology-specific projects, such as build a solution with Azure AI services. So breadth versus depth, that's, that's how I like it. The breadth is the role-based certification, and then the depth of that technology is starting to get into the project-specific skills of applied skills. So they, they definitely work together. To earn a certification, an individual must pass a proctored scheduled exam that has interactive elements. And to earn an applied skills credential, an individual must take must pass an on-demand lab-based assessment using the actual technology to complete that task. So if you want to efficiently identify people with, ver with variable skill sets, whether those skills are aligned to a job role or to a specific project, the comp complementary credentials of Microsoft certifications and applied skills helps to ensure that you're building resilience and ex adaptable teams ready to, to meet new challenges and take on new opportunities. So let's take a look at what that looks like in the portal. So to find them, we can easily go into your favorite search ed ed editor and then type in applied skills. And we want the credentials tab. So within the credentials page, we can see that 
it gives a really good description on what the credentials are. So you've got your applied skills and then your Microsoft certifications with introductory videos that I encourage you to watch. If we click on a browse applied skills, we can see a list of uh, credentials available. So this is a mix of both your applied skills and your certifications. But what I've done here is make sure that your credential type is configured to applied skills, which is actually what that button does, is it adds a filter. But if I untick those, it will bring up all my applied skills as well as my certifications as well. So you can go to this page and then click on applied skills. And as you can see, as was highlighted in the previous slide, there's a plethora of 26 current applied skills and more and more are getting added all the time. So if you go into one of these applied skills, say for example, administer Active Directory Services, we can see that we can go in and take the assessment, which will take us to the lab experience where you'll have two hours to complete the assessment. You, we can see the level, the role. So this is the role that it's targeted at. In this case, it's an administrator, the product and the subjects that will be touched. So in this example of administrate Active Directory Domain Services, the subject manager is the subject is technical infrastructure and device management. You can have a look at the tasks perform. So in this case, it's going to deploy and manage Active Directory Domain Services Domain Controllers, configure and configure group policy. You can also prepare for this applied skills by having a look at the learning path. So for an example, this is the Administrator Active Directory learning path, which will take you through the very common tasks of what you need to do to pass an applied skills credential. So for example, if we have a look at create and manage ADS objects and group policy, we can see in here that there's a learning path matching the create and manage Active Directory objects and create and configure group policy objects. So if we click on that, we can then complete our learning paths and modules in order to really prepare for that certification. And then we can take our assessment when we're ready by checking the box and then starting the assessment. And you have two hours to complete and the assessment will use an interactive lab to evaluate your performance. It will take a couple of minutes to load and then it'll take a couple of minutes after you press finish for you to get your results. And that should be via email. And your mouse and text movements will be recorded for quality purposes. One of the best things about these applied skills credentials is that there's no specific way that you need to achieve the outcome. One of the problems with certifications is that you've got a you may have a multi list, so you've got A, B, C to to really um, answer. So uh, question one might be how do I build? I don't know how do I add a user to a group. And then uh, answer A would be PowerShell. Answer two would be Active Directory users and computers, as an example. And answer three could be something completely different, like administrative units, as an example. Now, that question, this, that question scenario specifically, now I just made that up. The likelihood that that, question, that actual question is pretty low, but... You may think, well, I could do it with PowerShell, but I also could do it with Active Directory users and computers as well. So there are some questions with certifications that you get really, well, I could do it this way, but what, what is the standard best practice way that I should be doing? Or what is the intended way from Microsoft to do that exact thing? And this is where the applied skills are really useful because it doesn't matter whether you did the task using Active Directory uses as computers, or you did it using PowerShell, as long as that task got complete. That is what's checked at the very end. So once you pass Applied Skills Credential, you can go into your Microsoft Learn profile. You can click on Credentials. 
you can click on Applied Skills Credential and you can see a certificate. So in this example, I've completed the Deploy and Manage Azure Arc Enabled Servers Applied Skills Credential. I can see that I've earned it on July the 7th, 2024. I can click and view the credential page. I can see that the status is active and it's verified. And I can also print the certification. So I can print it, frame it, put it on the wall. I can also share as well. So I can share with Facebook, X, LinkedIn, email, or just copy the credential link if you want to send someone to that exact page to verify that you've completed that role. So the last thing I want to leave you with today is the Microsoft Learn Pass, as I alluded to earlier, very useful for actually going through and verifying and learning bit by bit by bit. But there are other resources available online, such as the Microsoft Learning GitHub repo, which is actually used by official Microsoft trainers in order to deliver those sessions, those that talked about. So Microsoft certified trainers would come in and deliver a workshop on a specific applied skills credential. For example, this is only one of the resources that they have to use it, but this is part of the official Microsoft learning curriculum. So if we go into the github.com forward slash Microsoft learning GitHub repo, and we go to find a repository, let's have a look at Active Directory. We can see that here is the AZ1008 administer Active Directory services credential. We can go into here, it's a public GitHub repo. And we can have a look and see that we can either dig into the repository itself, so we can go into the labs and the all files, or some of the repositories even have a web user interface. So for example, we can see here, there's guided projects for administrating Active Directory domain services. So exercises like configure the domain control operations or user management operations. So if we click on one of these, we can see that has step-by-step -step guides on how to complete those roles. So when you're preparing for one of these applied skills credentials, I recommend you go through the learning paths first, and then you can go in using the knowledge that you've already gained into those into the Microsoft Learning repository and then go into those specific tasks because the Microsoft Learning modules give you more concept on why something happens. Where if you go straight to these GitHub repos, it's very task orientated. It assumes that you already know why you want to do something. So this is how you would go about doing it, complementing the learning modules as well. So hopefully that has given you enough of an understanding of applied skills. They don't replace certifications. In fact, they're very much complementary. But the way I look at it is task versus role, goal versus project. So they very much operate side by side. If you're wanting to only complete a task, go Applied Skills Credential. But if you're looking at your overall professional efficiency, then knowing the breadth of those skills required to perform a role is where certifications come in. My own look, personal outlook is it's all learning. So you can't, you can't go wrong either way. Both of the Applied Skills and the certifications give you that learning path that you can go through and learn how to complete something and the supporting services around it. So give it a go. Let me know how you get on. And yeah, keep an eye on all the applied skills credentials that are popping up all the time. Awesome. Thank you.